Hi, I'm Elizabeth Sulastri Nugraheni, one of the lecturer from School of Medicine Universitas Ciputra Surabaya, Indonesia. Many of us know that health is influenced by several factors. Today we took part in community engagement of Tengeris, one of the indigenous people in Indonesia living in Mount Bromo. During our socialization with Tengeris, we introduced the concept of One Health where according to One Health theory, we have to consider the health of human, animal, and conservation of environment to achieve the maximum health. Hello, my name is Eugene Jung. I'm a medical student from Universitas Ciputra. I'm currently in Mount Bromo, one of the most favorite tourist destinations in Indonesia. Here, I came to meet the Tengaris youth, an indigenous people who are living in high altitude of Bromo. I'm stunned about the fact that there still is a group of indigenous in a famous tourist destination yet concerned that these Tengaris people were also susceptible to diseases that were impacted by environmental change five years ahead due to climate change, global warming, loss of wild animals habitat. One Health is one of our concerns and a solution to prevent an outbreak of emerging and re-emerging disease in the future. One Health does not address diseases that previously existed in humans, but which exist in animals that have passed to humans. For this reason, we should continue to improve, evaluate, and implement to make One Health an important issue in every country, especially countries rich in animal and biological diversity such as Indonesia. These adolescents were also introduced the basic foundation of One Health, that is communication, coordination, and collaboration working on local, regional, national, and global level. These tribes are susceptible to wild animals due to environmental change in form of deforestation for residential use, tourist littering and pollution that results to habitat loss and migration of wild animals to the village. After a field observation to Mount Bromo, there was a close interaction between the Tengaris and animals such as the wild monkeys, horses as transportation, and every villager owned cattle and a small poultry. Um, kalau yang saya rasakan perbedaannya yaitu kalau dulu itu Cuacanya tidak terlalu ekstrim. Kalau sekarang itu sangat terasa, Kak. Jadi, kalau malam hari itu sangat dingin gitu. Kalau siang hari itu panas, terik gitu. Jadi, kurang sehat aja gitu rasanya ke tubuh, ke kulit itu kurang sehat gitu. Perbedaannya seperti itu yang saya rasakan. Untuk dapat saya sendiri Bromo di lima tahun yang lalu sangat dindang, indah, hawa masih sejuk. Untuk sekarang ini, terdapat COVID dua tahun, sudah mulai apa cuaca mulai agak kurang fit lah buat e, badan maupun hewan yang itu kemungkinan karena perubahan globalisasi sudah mulai panas. Dan untuk sekarang ini cuaca berubah-ubah. Kita ada biasanya, biasanya 6, 6 bulan ini sudah berunjuk ke musim kemarau. Akan tetapi sekarang masih ada hujan. Oleh karena itu banyak orang yang kurang apa badan kurang fit gitu. To observe and raise awareness of nature conservation to prevent emerging infectious diseases within a community, School of Medicine Universitas Ciputra conducted a socialization with Tengaris youth and cross-sectional design has been done to evaluate their cognitive understanding through pre-test before and post-test after the socialization for quantitative results. In this socialization, we discuss about great natural impacts that is now occurring and will occur in the future due to climate change, global warming, and unpreserved action against tourist damaging mountain environment. Kemarin itu 
ada dua kejajan longsor mungkin ibu di jalan lihat ya di jalan sudah lihat itu dampaknya untuk sekarang ini ke di presentasi longsor lebih naik They declare that landslide was getting more frequent lately and highly concerned about the increasing private property of lands for recreational purpose to build hotels and cafe for tourists. Besides, climate change has greatly altered Mount Bromo ecosystem. According to Tungaris Youth, temperature of Mount Bromo felt colder five years ago compared to today in 2022. Mungkin perbedaan lingkungannya itu daripada dulu itu lebih banyak pembangunan ya kak sekarang oh. itu sekarang itu sudah banyak yang membangun kafe penginapan itu lebih banyak daripada dulu jadi ya lebih banyak penduduknya aja gitu daripada dulu jadi lahan-lahan yang seharusnya itu pertanian itu dibuat perhotelan dibuat kafe oh, gitu baik. jadi lebih banyak bangunan-bangunan sekarang baik. daripada dulu Besides, we emphasize on the relation of conserving nature and the risk of infectious disease within a community, especially diseases that origin from animals due to increasing contact between humans and animals in Tengger through one health approach. Here, we have strongly demonstrated how human, animals and environments are interconnected and impact one another and that we can prevent zoonotic disease through one health approach. We gave examples on how to conserve promo from recycling, planting, educating tourists, spread awareness through social media, and many more creative ways that these Tengris youth can perform. According to pretests about One Health approach to conserve nature and reduce the risk of communicable disease and zoonosis within a community, 63.3% of the respondents were not aware that increasing vehicles transportation can cause global warming and 82.7% of the respondents were not aware that climate change can endanger wild animals. Although these adolescents are not health expertises, we believe that Tengger tribe perceive best on sustaining environment and their strong willingness in protecting their home and culture shown by wearing traditional outfits. Saya sebagai pemuda tentunya ingin sekali melakukan revoisasi ya kak. Jadi ingin sekali mengumpulkan pemuda-pemuda saat ini itu untuk melakukan revoisasi penanaman hutan kembali jadi tidak terlalu kersang gitu. Buat terutama pemuda mari kita apa bergerak menyelamatkan terutama untuk wisata Gunung Bromo agar lebih rindang, nyaman, sejuk terbebas dari virus apapun. In conclusion, the Tengris youth accepted and agreed that knowledge of One Health approach can be applied in action to preserve Mount Bromo ecosystem, yet prevent emerging infectious diseases and zoonosis to enhance community health.